This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. All right, just about 6.53 now. Let's get you filled in on everything you need to know for your Thursday here in the morning sprint. Sydney Charles has details on a Senate hearing about the Ohio train derailments. Destiny Richards is live looking at some slushy roads from that overnight snow. And another snowstorm is heading our way. Let's get right to Mark for your forecast. All right, first alert weather and that first alert weather app would be a great tool with all the changing uh, forecasts that we're going to be seeing over the next week or two. So we look at our forecast radar and really Friday morning about 1 a.m. we have this starting and it's going to be snow all night long with rain to the south. We're going to see that stop about 7 in the morning. And then we're going to see scattered showers throughout the day coming back around with maybe some more snow in the afternoon. So that's why we have a weather alert day for Friday. Today, well, we're drying out. We're going to see again some variable clouds. High today is going to be 40 degrees. And this morning we have been driving around showing you all that overnight snow that we got. It's looking like slush in some places but here on the south hill definitely snow covered main roads look a lot better but just be careful of that light layer of slush that may be still on the roads good thing is that we've seen plows out all morning definitely download that first alert weather app so that you can track the road conditions and track the snow conditions excuse me um, throughout the morning well, standoff in Spokane County put two Cheney schools on alert. Windsor Elementary and Westwood Middle School were asked to shelter in place yesterday as the SWAT team worked to arrest a man in a nearby duplex. The Spokane Police Department arrested that man several, or facing several charges, including multiple domestic violence order violations and unlawful possession of a firearm. The man also had a Department of Corrections warrant out for his arrest. SPD says it took 30 minutes before the man surrendered. Investigators have yet to say what caused the construction accident at the Spokane Tribe Casino Tuesday. The contractor, Swinnerton, says the incident involved a framework collapse. We're learning more about the woman who was killed. Friends and family say Anna Vetter loved her job and was an inspiration to other women in construction. Vetter wanted nothing more than to become a, a carpenter. Her mentor says she was filled with excitement to be on this job site. You can read more about her story right now on KXOY.com. President Joe Biden will unveil his budget this afternoon in Philadelphia. A proposal the White House says will lower costs for families, reduce the deficit, and bolster both Social Security and Medicare. The budget proposal isn't expected to go far without changes because Republicans are in charge of the House. Seattle Sonic star Sean Kemp should appear in court for an arraignment this morning following his arrest in connection with a drive-by shooting in Tacoma. Tacoma police say the shooting happened near the Tacoma Mall, where two men in separate cars were involved in some kind of altercation, and one fired several shots at the other. Kemp was detained and arrested. Coming up next on Good Morning America, the massive attack across Ukraine overnight. Dozens of Russian missiles targeting infrastructure and residential areas in major cities. ABC is on the ground with the very latest. And Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw is set to appear before the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee today. The Senate panel will start in a few minutes, and Shaw is the most high-profile witness expected at that hearing. He will likely face questions regarding the derailment of a train operated by his company in East Palestine. He's also expected to answer for Norfolk's, Norfolk Southern's culture of safety amid back-to-back -back incidents and new NTSB and FRA investigations. The top Republican in the U.S. Senate is in the hospital after a serious fall. The spokesperson for Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says he tripped at a hotel in D.C. last night during a private dinner. No word on the extent of his injuries or how long it may take him to recover. The 81-year-old Kentucky Republican is the Senate's longest-serving GOP leader. Because of uncertainty over housing and jobs, people experiencing homelessness often struggle to keep their pets. A new organization called Safe Spokane is looking for temporary foster homes for homeless pets. Animals will be fostered for up to 90 days with the possibility of extensions. Safe Spokane is currently looking for more foster homes as well as financial support. You can find more information on how you can help on KXLY.com. The Spokane Public School students will ride different buses to school in August. The school board voted to stop using Durham and switch to Zoom services to bus students. Even though Zoom will cost the district nearly a half a million dollars more a year than Durham, the board decided Zoom was the better, better option, citing things like a new fleet of buses and technology that improves route visibility. To see other details the board took into consideration, just look for this story on KXLY.com.
We will be back with a final check of weather with Mark Peterson right after this quick commercial break.